Let us verify Rolle's theorem for the function f(x) equal to x cube minus 12x in the interval 0, comma 2 root 3. So we want to verify Rolle's theorem for f(x) equal to x cube minus 12x in the interval 0, comma 2 root 3. If we want to verify Rolle's theorem, first of all, we should make sure that three criteria are satisfied. Let's deal with those criteria one by one. First one, we, is, we should be sure that f is continuous. Is this function continuous? Observe that this is a polynomial function and polynomial function are continuous. f is a polynomial f. Since f is a polynomial, it is continuous throughout r, but we don't need it to be continuous throughout r. So continuous in the interval possible So continuous in the interval 0, comma 2 root 3. What about differentiability? Again, f is a polynomial and polynomial are differentiable differentiable in the interval, in this case, we don't need even the closed interval, just open interval will do, open interval 0, comma 2 root 3. What about the value of the function at the end point? So first criteria, it has to be continuous in the closed interval. Second criteria, the function has to be differentiable, it is continuous all right. First criteria is satisfied. Second criteria, it has to be differentiable, yes, it is satisfied. Third criteria, f of a has to be equal to f of b. Value of the function at the end point must be equal. f of 0 equal to 0 at uh, 0, f of 0 is 0. f of 2 root 3 equal to 2 root 3 whole thing cube minus 12 times 2 root 3. 2 cube is 8, root 3 square is 3, and then root 3 minus 24 root 3. Well then, 24 root 3 minus 24 root 3 is 0. So the value of the function at the end point are equal because f of 0 equal to f of 2 root 3 and it turns out to be equal to 0. So all the three criteria are satisfied. So Rolle's theorem is applicable. So we can say that by Rolle's theorem, there exists a constant C, there exists a constant C such that F test C equal to 0 and that C belong to that open interval 0, comma 2 root 3 that is C is greater than 0 less than 2 root 3. Now, how, how about f dash x? fx equal to x cube minus 12x. fx equal to x cube minus 12x. So, f dash x, if you differentiate x cube, you get 3x square. If you differentiate 12x, you just get 12. So, f dash c equal to 3 times c square minus 12. Therefore, f dash c equal to 0 if 3c square minus 12 equal to 0. That gives us c square minus 4 equal to 0. We just take c 3 common. And from there, we take uh, 4 to the right hand side. So, c, c square equal to 4. And so, c equal to plus minus 2. We just need a constant c, so that c lie between 0 and 2 root 3. We take c equal to, we choose c equal to 2, then 
c is greater than 0 less than 2 root 3 s2 is greater than 0 and less than 2 root 3 and f dash c equal to 0 f dash of 2 is equal to 0 so we have determined a constant c that that rose theorem guarantees to a to exist and that c turns out to be exactly equal to 2 so we have verified rose theorem 